I'm really starting to like this place. There's stuff popping up in every corner. It's pretty much pretty much where I want it to be. I've got a few more buildings to fill in in various gaps like behind me, but I'm getting there. The end is in sight. I've also got myself a hover jetpack. So this is a jetpack that will be very useful when it comes to texturing that building behind me because unfortunately the create jetpack that I use involves holding shift and space at the same time to hover and unfortunately that means you can't place blocks on frame blocks but never mind I've got this this is actually great for that however let me demonstrate if I want to go fast I can't this is as fast as it goes it sounds cool it looks cool um, however it is just incredibly slow so I'm only going to be using this when I'm placing blocks but it is a nice way of having a little fly around um, and I think now I'll show you some of the uh, tests and experiments I've been doing actually there's actually one more bit of kit that I need to show you let me go really high up this is high enough this should hurt me shouldn't it if I fall but no because I have these boots on. If I get rid of that, you can see my boots. They are mecha boots. Look a bit like a face, don't they? But they're mecha boots to go with my mecha jetpack. And these are both mechanism mechanism bits of equipment. So the free runners I'm keeping on the jetpack is only being used when I'm decorating buildings and texturing framed blocks. You may be wondering what these monstrosities are. Well, these are mechanism multi-blocks. They are thermal evaporation multi-blocks. They are used, really, the simplest way of explaining it is you have water coming in from my unlimited water source here. We, oh, we need to get under here so I can show you. I have some pumps which are set up that are powered and have these mechanical pipes which are running water up here into this block and what this does is convert water through the process of evaporation and powered by these solar panels up here which are obviously I don't need power I've got tons of the stuff but they look cool and they fit in with the general aesthetic of this place so what this does is convert water into brine it's a slow process but it this is the brine here as you can see this, this sort of yellowy stuff and then I've got another one here which is converting no it's not going to show me it doesn't happen all the time it has to get up to a certain amount because these things are basically just big fluid tanks so see if I can show you so yep yeah, that's quite low the water at the moment and over here is where the brine maybe at the bottom no because it's going out straight away to lithium which is the output of here is lithium water which as soon as it finishes comes out here and goes into my applied energistics system now the biggest changes that I've been working on is as you can see on the screen my underground market so this was where I was producing plastic and I just had some machines in a huge empty room well I have for a long time needed to, to tart this area up a little bit make it a little bit more uh, grungy seedy dodgy just like this alley this really bright cheerful alley uh, and I've started to use as I've done before framed blocks how did that get there? I've started to use frame blocks just to mark out the different rooms. We have a bar area here, which I'm a, a big fan of. I do like it. I'm not a fan of this sky stone texture. I do like the um, pillar, a crying obsidian pillar. It's a chipped block that's pretty cool. But this sky stone needs to go. It's just a bit boring, really, isn't it? I'll, I'll have to go around and remove all of these. But uh, yeah, I've just marked out different areas for little shops in the market. This is the, what do I call it, the Osmium Emporium. And this is a machine that basically 
converts osmium dust into osmium ingots and then outputs them into here although I'm not sure why it's not working why are you not working oh, I'll come back to that that was working but it was producing refined obsidian ingots I think let's have a look uh, these things which can be used in some really quite powerful stuff uh, and also in the mechanism mecha suits uh, construction which is something that I have been long aiming to build and that is really overpowered but it'll be fun all the fluids you know are, yeah, are creative fluid tanks you know I could create a load of different vats of things but I don't want to you know I can actually craft these it's it's part of the mod pack allows me to do it um, and it just basically means I've got some nice compact fluid storage so um, don't tell Sandy but I may have uh, borrowed a bucket of these three fluids here from her but yeah I've got what have I got here I've got water and lava I've got chocolate honey caramel um, latex liquid meat pink slime liquid ethylene so all of these are um, industrial foregoing I think that might be mechanism. Liquid oxygen is definitely liquid hydrogen. Essence is industrial foregoing. Those are mechanism. And milk, of course. So I've actually got a, a decent. Oh, also liquid lithium and brine from those tanks out there um, are coming into here. Uh, and now I've got more capacity here because there are actually tons of liquids in this game. Um, but this is going to be quite a handy. I love the fact that you can, you can headbutt the sign and make it move. But yeah, all the liquids. I uh, just need to finish off the texturing round here. What have we got over here? We have well, Alloys R Us. So this is my mechanism uh, alloy factory, which creates the three tiers of alloy in mechanism. Please don't expect me to be a guide to mechanism. It's really complicated. Great fun trying to figure it out, and that's what I love. But I am by no means an expert. But there's a pretty good wiki available um, and plenty of YouTube videos out there that can actually explain this a bit better than me. So yes, the three tiers of alloys, infused alloys, reinforced alloys and atomic alloys. Um, there is, uh, we've got factories going on here. Um, we are clearly lacking some sort of ingredients here because it's not infusing them at the moment with redstone. I think I'm probably, I must be out of redstone I imagine. Uh, so I'm looking at the wrong place. Redstone. Yes, I'm out of redstone. So if I was to craft 100 redstone blocks, then yeah, we go. It's working again. So I just need to keep an eye on things. When you've got automation, there are so many different things that can um, you've got to keep an eye on at once. So all this preliminary stuff here. We've got obsidian that's being created by a a stone factory over there from industrial foregoing all of these other things pallet obsidian diamond dust creates refined obsidian dust which as you can see is coming in and then going I think probably to the osmium shop over there what else have we got here we've got a, a crusher so for my diamond dust it is an ultimate crushing factory look how many things it's, it's not even halfway through its capacity. It's coming in and getting crushed so fast. Look at that. Uh, an infuser to turn powdered obsidian into refined obsidian, which is why I've got these stock level monitors here. And then finally enriching obsidian into obsidian dust. So all of these are working together um, to help me with my alloys and help me with the osmium production over here but the bar I love the bar we've got our barman here Tipsy McStagger he's unemployed apparently even though there is a job block here maybe I need to move it it looks like he can't pathfind to it I'm not sure why it is even a job block here actually his apple press should make him a winemaker uh, some of Sandy's wines um, are all here including the one that she very kindly left me, Creeper's Crush. Um, did I? Oh, for a minute I thought I'd actually.
drunk it then. Uh, and then I would have an, a bit of a damaged bar afterwards, from what I believe. Now, this was where my AE2 infrastructure was. But I ran out of channels, and so I've had to get remove it here. But the bar's looking pretty good. I can imagine a few times where me and the other folks on the server, we want to sit down here, get a drink from Tipsy when he gets a job. Um, and then, I don't know, maybe we could play a bit of poker and sing a bit of a song here. Uh, we have a jukebox, which I've set up to sort of circulate here, in and out. We've got a few discs going on here. Um, and they will just go round and out and in. So automatic jukeboxes now that we can feed hoppers into them and they work. Even the barman's dancing, look at him go. Well, go tipsy go. Anyway, I need some emotes, that would be cool. Over here we have unclaimed area, but the idea is eventually I'll build some steps up into the station concourse here, where there'll be a waiting area, um, and also probably another set of steps up here to the froggy reader, or the froggy uh, magma eater machine thing, and then also I might even look at some steps up here to take people outside, so you've got plenty of options for walking around and exploring, which will be pretty cool. These machines here, where did I just see something red on the floor? Ah, lava, of course. Yes, so these machines here are about producing lithium dust, which are, is another key ingredient for advanced mechanism stuff. So in here, I'm piping out liquid lithium into this condensator which is turning liquid lithium or condensing liquid lithium into lithium gas. I wish it would say gas because that would make it a lot easier to work out what it is. But as you can see there, liquid lithium into gas lithium, which is then shot into here, which is a chemical crystallizer, uh, another high-end machine that I need you need um, refined obsidian ingots to build and this turns the lithium gas into lithium dust. Lithium dust is what you need to build these sorts of things. So these are, I've got lots of plastic, I've already made those. Control circuits are made from alloys which I've already shown you. A netherite helmet, I are pretty easy to get now in this mod pack. Polonium pellets the last thing I'm going to look at but I can also I have all of this stuff now so I can build one of these basic induction cells. So let me I'm still getting used to the search here because I've locked it so that you'd only search from here but that mecha suit helmet as you can see here I've got everything apart from three things should be able to craft this now. So I've got that, so the only thing I need now is polonium pellets. Fluorite dusts. Uh, okay, I can use water and polonium. So fluorite and polonium are the next things. We're going to start getting radioactive soon. I might do that in this episode, I'm not sure. I think I'd rather just sort out this place and get it finished. You know? Um, I hate I hate leaving unfinished things. Yeah, let's crack on with that. It does provide some good ambience for the level, doesn't it? That music. I like it. How far do these jukeboxes play? Bear in mind the market is underneath that warehouse. You can still hear it. Just.
But before we get on with anything, I will share with you a little bit of Chaos Wednesday every Wednesday for those who are not aware. Everyone on the server gets together and we just have no plans, no agenda, no no kind of strict way of doing things. We just be ourselves. I think it's the only way to uh, say it. And uh, yeah, we have fun. And so here's some clips from the last Wednesday session that we had together which was a few days ago now, but I thought I'll share them anyway, because uh, it's chaos. I hit this bit right. <laughs> I don't need the bottom. <laughs> uh, I'm curious, can you use a flint and steel on a chorus tree? I have no idea. Do we have fire tick on? That's the other question. Uh, don't think so. No, I think it's off. No, you can't. You can't light a chorus okay. tree. Sadly. Otherwise, I mean, Did otherwise, you want to the chorus tree? Come on, baby, light mm. my chorus tree. Um, <laughs> just tempting, you know, when you know when you shouldn't light do something. Chorus. <laughs> what, 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 sign here that said, "Don't light me," you know. Or a sign that said, oh, "Don't grow it. this." Yes. Yeah. Or exactly. a sign that says, "Don't grow this to world height." Hmm. I'll yeah. do it. Exactly. Well, that sign is only for one person, <laughs> and it's not going to help. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you can never remove this. This is a sight of sheer beauty. I have, I have a feeling Sandy, with all her sight lines <laughs> that she talks about, is a little bit... I think it might keep her up at night, is my, is my gut feeling. <laughs> This is the best sightline there is. Oh, I like the bridge, Sandy. That's uh, colourful. Well, uh, the purple <laughs> bridge, I think, is majestic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just wanted to see if I could get a diagonal line. That's nothing. You should try building a honeycomb shape. Yeah, that you did that quickly, eh? Hey? That's not that odd. You cannot, you cannot flint and steel a fly. <laughs> all, all in the name <laughs> of science. science. Uh, Lovejoy, yeah. do is... you, um, are you ready for a, a jungle adventure? I have no idea what a jungle is. Um, okay, you, so a, a place with trees and <laughs> things. Um, ah, of course. I, it, a jungle, a, why didn't you say? It's a little bit of a trek, so maybe we should leave now. And this well, hang on, fun. hang on. I still need to figure out a place to, um, you know, uh, you know. No. <laughs> Do educate uh, me. Do educate me, please. So I've I recently liberated some food, and I need to figure out where to cook it. <laughs> oh, okay. If you're at my base, you can go into the bakery and cook it. That would do it. Yeah. There's a kitchen. Oh, that is cool. When you go underwater with your fill water tank, uh, it it's like um, African drums. When you fill it up underwater with the physics sound physics. Oh, cool. Um, although I've got. A I'll bit take your word for it. <laughs> got a bit of a twitchy. Got a bit of a twitchy uh, tank situation going on. It looks very dodgy. Ooh. There's a bowl in front of you. And if you come over here to the chicken, and you click on the chicken, you'll get a serving of it, and it, the, you'll see the carcass grow. There we go. Now oh you can eat what's in your hand. Oh my! Cool, eh? Oh no, what, are you eat, what are you eating? What are you? I eating? Say We're eating a chicken. Whole roast <laughs> chicken. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Sandy, that's a lot better. I don't know the okay, flies cool. in this Thank kitchen. Thank you so yeah. much. Well, the it's flies. Are, yeah. You got a fly problem. I'll get rid of it, I've got lightning. No, 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 not in here, not in here, not in here. Ow! Dead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and so am I nearly. Yeah. Watch his bones, his delicate... Oh, love, love Joy, if you, if, you eat the, if you eat the gingerbread man, you'll get full health again. I don't want to eat my gingerbread man, he's, he's at my base, he's, he's my totem of undying. Right, um, is everyone ready for our trip to the jungle? Yeah, we're just quickly putting in drawers for Sandy. Oh, yeah. The of system course. clogged up and there's items overflowing onto the floor. Yeah, you need a void upgrade, that's what you need. 
No, it's the seed, so it's not full yet, it's but you didn't have a storage draw for yeah for us for the seeds. Okay. So but it's just uh, they're stopping the other stuff from flowing in. Yeah, but you could put a void upgrade for the poisonous potatoes unless you, unless you have a use. Yeah, 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 sure. No, no, she can. Yeah. Oh, I think but I'm I mean, currently crop. they're not going anywhere, so they're just stuck in the chute. Oh, no, no, that's never good. No. Just ask my chickens. No. Nope. Nobody likes a poison potato in the chute. Have you got something? Oh, have you got something that is needs to be powered? Like a Why is Carl sparkly? I didn't get to see him sparkle. <laughs> I don't know what happened. Um, you, you mean create wise, or oh, Anything. you've got a dimensional power thingy? Yeah. So. Ooh. I all just had a glow up. That's that's what happened. Any machine that needs power will get powered from my reactor in my base. This is the only thing I've got going at the moment. Don't look at it now. I modified okay, it I'm to looking. demonstrate cow oh, killing. I'll look. I'll look. Oh, yeah, the I've pipe, closed yeah. my eyes. Spe I've closed my you've eyes. got a chicken head, I'm scared you get offended. If I put my yep. head up. I'm not looking. Don't worry. <laughs> not looking. Okay, well, here you go. But, um, but, when, you get a, when you build a motor... Um, yeah. Ah. <laughs> the magnet. <laughs> um, when you get a mo, you can build a motor, a create motor, and if you put that on it, it will be unlimited power, basically. Unlimited. Oh, that's power. good. So okay. You don't need to build now huge, I've... huge uh, contraptions to to make power. Yeah, that's the thing because I currently I've got five water wheels powering this, or maybe six. I don't even know. Demonstration. Oh, I've got one of these. There you go. Oh, you just plonk it on the side. Yeah, shift click, crouch and click it, and it's taking power from my base. Rotation is so power. cool. Mm. Okay, and then. <laughs> You're going to log on and all your power is going to be drained. <laughs> <laughs> It'd have to be some hell of a drain because it's crazy power. I've got it all automated now to also craft in for the nitro reactors. That there is it. so cool. <laughs> huh. Sus suspicious device. Is this the new chair I read about? <laughs> yes. I'm Sandy, Sandy, Sandy. Yes. <laughs> the world's most comfortable seat. <laughs> and even after all of that effort from me to try and get people to a jungle adventure, well, we did do it, but sadly we ran out of time for this episode. So, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. I mean, it, there was just too much good stuff to include. And I just felt, yeah, I'll share that with you guys because I don't think that was streamed by anyone. So next episode, we'll focus more. In fact, we'll open up more on the next step where we actually got to this giant jungle ruin um, and explored a, a temple in the jungle that was super-sized, full of traps, puzzles, mazes, etc. And was good fun and um, typically chaotic as you'd expect. So just as I promised, I've kind of added a little bit more detail here. We've got a noisy jukebox still playing, um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying it. I mean, I've borrowed some Cyberpunk 2077 adverts, so I may well get uh, them changed because I don't want to be accused of copying or plagiarism or anything like that. We have our stage, that's not changed. I've textured a lot of the blocks now. In fact, uh, nothing changed up here. Um, we've got the walls are now sort of fairly modern. Um, we also have some less than friendly hosts here um, that like to shoot me, but I'm slowly disarming them. And then these eyebrowed um, companions of mine will be some very friendly shopkeepers. I hope we've got one there as well, ouch. Uh, yeah, so texturing is complete, mostly complete, um, and yeah, I'm pretty happy with how things have gone. I really like this glow plastic with these trapdoors. It gives it a really nice futuristic look. Um, but I mean, hopefully you feel it's suitably grungy, seedy, dodgy look that I'm going for. I mean, this is certainly a dodgy bar, uh, and yeah, it's uh, a hovel for those who are aware of that word. Um, that's the sort of word I would use to describe it. Um, yeah, I mean, last thing I think probably to show you before I sign off is with shaders, it's quite bright, but 
it's a little bit more even out here. I, I've also I'm going to start getting rid of these because it's too too light, too 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 much light here. So I might replace these with something that doesn't emit light that looks similar, like a lightning rod or something like that. Um, obviously it looks a bit weird at the moment, but it's a little bit more the light level I'm aiming for. Um, with that, I will say goodbye. Uh, thank you guys for um, sitting with me and watching this. If you've made it this far, congratulations. You've really helped my stats. I've got a little area here that I need to do something with. A few ideas. Um, I've had some interesting suggestions from Sandy, which I might cover in the next episode. We shall see. But either way, if you want to see what happens next in the jungle adventure, then tune in to the episode following this one. Thanks for watching, everyone. You take care now. I'll see you next time. Bye.